For a hook, I'm using a Firehole Sticks number 317, but you can use any scud hook you want, and there are a wide variety of them on the market from many brands. But whatever hook you use, you want to place a corresponding size silver bead on the hook. An easy way to do this is place a few beads in your hand, then put the hook point through the bead. And I like preparing a few of these in a row. Now place your hook securely in your vise. For thread, I like using this Vivas 10 knot, but whatever thread you use, make sure it's red. Start your thread right behind the bead and break or snip off the waist. Then bring your thread halfway down the hook shank. Now we need some pheasant tail fibers. As you can see, there are two sides to a pheasant tail. One side has more soft and webby fibers, and the other side has the stiffer fibers. Align the tips of about a half dozen of the stiff fibers by stroking them outward from the feather stem, and then strip them off. As you can see, the tips are aligned. Place the feathers on top of your hook shank and make two loose wraps to hold them in place. And then you can simply pull them until you're happy with the tail length. Now make even wraps down the hook shank over the feathers until you reach the back of the hook. Then go back up the hook shank and tie the feathers down to just behind the bead. And then you can just break the feathers off clean. Next we need some tinsel. The larger size flashaboo will also work for this, but I really do like this large UTC tinsel. Snip off a small section and then tie this piece right behind the bead and directly on top of the hook shank. Also make even wraps with your thread all the way down to the start of the tail, and then back up to the bead. After you've made a smooth red base on your hook shank, then start making overlapping wraps with your tinsel up the hook shank until you reach the bead. As you can see, the tinsel makes a natural looking ribbing on this fly. Capture the tinsel with a few tight wraps, and then pull the tag end up and then tie it back down on top of the hook shank about a third of the way down to form a wing case. Now we need some tan dubbing. You can use whatever dubbing you want, but I like the Senyos laser dub. Pull out a small amount and then break it in half as I find the laser dub fibers are easier to work with when short. Dub a thin and tight noodle on your thread. And then proceed to form a small dubbing ball to build up the abdomen. If you need, you can add more. You want this ball to be rather large, but don't go overboard. End with your thread right behind the bead, and then pull the tinsel up and over the dubbing ball to create a small wing case. Then put your thumb on top of the case and make a few tight wraps to tie it down. And then you can pull the tinsel back and make a few tight wraps in front of it as well. Don't worry about building up too much thread here. You're actually gonna want a large red hotspot on this fly. Snip off the remaining tinsel and then whip finish your fly. Then I like to put a liberal coat of head cement on top of the wing case. When it soaks in and dries, it becomes invisible. And there we have it, the Rainbow Warrior. It's a great attractor pattern, especially on sunny days. I'm now selling shirts and sweatshirts with my logo on them. I will put a link to these shirts in the description section of the video, and your purchase helps keep this channel going, so I thank you for taking a look at them. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe and share with all your fish-loving friends. Also, do me a favor and hit that like button. I also wanted to remind you that all the materials used today are in the description section of this video, but you might have to click the Show More button to expand the section to view. I also have included links to where you can purchase them online. Also included a discount code for the fly artist as well, as a special thank you for being my subscriber. So please use that as you won't be able to find deals this good anywhere else. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.